call of the wild man. Hi, Neil. We pull up and Joe comes flying in, skidding tires, doing it all in this big rock boat. Turtle Man, good to see you. What are we dealing with today, Joe? There's some kind of animal, and I don't know what it is, that's been wallowing in our mud holes. And okay. my customers are scared to get in there. Really? We got to make sure nobody gets bit by anything, and we got to make sure that the animal's safe, too. This is where there's some sightings and so forth. OK. It's awfully muddy back there, and I don't think your rig would get all the way back there. It's all pretty right. muddy. You're That'll welcome get... to ride one of mine. I picked the wrong day to wear white shoes. Them shoes sure look pretty. They sure pretty shoes, Neil. I'm staying in the truck where it's nice and semi-clean. Semi-clean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not passing up the chance of driving one of these four-wheelers. So me and Neil are going to take separate vehicles to get down to an investigation spot. There's nothing but mud everywhere you look. You got to start our investigation right here. This is where he said he saw the action happening at. We, Ernie? I guess it's shoes versus mud today, isn't it? How about if, how about if you look around and I just hang back here on this dry spot? Get on out here and help me, buddy. I'll be down there in just a few minutes, I promise. Part of my job is to bag up critters. Well, today, the critters I'm bagging up are my two size 11 tennis shoes. Well, come on there, knee highs. All I got to do is make sure I got my shoes clean. <laughs> I don't know about this. I'm coming. Oh, uh -oh Neil. I think we got some live action over here. Check it out, buddy. Where at? Right here. We got some live action. Tadpoles, buddy. Before becoming frogs, defenseless tadpoles are easy prey and many predators will gladly dine on these slow-moving young amphibians. It's a perfect reason for a critter to be in this mud bob. Whatever this critter is down here, it's coming down here eating the tadpoles, man. Right here's some more evidence. I got it, right here. What is it, buddy? Man, it's a slide. Check it out. Got a claw mark here. Look there. By the looks at this here slide, it's looking like it's going to be a pretty good-sized little critter. Well, he's sitting up here like his right here. All right, Neil, I'm going in after him, buddy. Can't already pick my feet up. This Kentucky red clay gums up just like already chewed, wet, moist, hot bubble gum. Well, don't get in there and get stuck, buddy. There ain't nobody back here but us. So muddy in here. Look, it's like soup. Look, you can't see through that. So anything touches that turtle, he's going to bite at it. This is going to be an exceptionally dangerous job. Oh. Whoa, Neil. Woo! We got live action. Something just ran into me right there. What is it? I almost took my hand off, Neil. I know one thing, Neil. He's fighting dirty. I think I named him Dirty Harry. Oh, oh there, there he is, is. Hey, he's right That's there. his back. I got him. I got him. You got him? I got him. Wee -wee. Man, you can't already get him out. He's like a suction cup pulling. It's like a tug of war. He's a big one. Oh, oh man, Ernie, oh, watch oh. your face. Yeah, yeah. All right, Neil. There he is. Yeah. yeah. Golly. Nice. Woo. Wow. Man, man, what a turtle. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh. Get out there now. Man, it's a boy turtle, too. That's 50 or 60 pounds of turtle, Ernie. Well, I guess that solves that. That's one of the problems. What do you mean, one of the problems? That's a male. There should be a female. Turtle Man tells me that it's mating season for the Chaladra Serpentina, and there's no doubt that if where there's a male, there's a female. Call of the Wild Man. <laughs>